Hey guys, bit of an impromptu one here, so I do apologise for the sound quality and the audio, which is ironic because this is a video all about how I'm going to improve my video and audio. So before I get into it, as some of you may know, I decided to double down on my investment in YouTube videos. So I bought the Fujifilm X-S20. This literally just came out today. I've been waiting for this camera for a long time. In terms of its best features, it's pretty much one of the best in class for that sort of £1,000 range um, for video production. But I have one main problem with this camera and my current PC. Now this camera is pretty cool because it has a HDMI out. So it means my actual production and my workflow is no longer going to need my phone, which is what I'm recording this on. It means that I can stream 4K, 60fps, full HDR, it'll actually do 6K, straight to my PC. So I no longer need to set up my phone, have the bad focus that you guys have been suffering with all this time. I do apologise. And actually use something like an Elgato Stream Deck, which some of you may know from game streaming, etc., to actually record direct off here from a HDMI, straight into here, and then back into my PC. But the elephant in the room is my PC. It's a mini ITX machine. Now, if I was being extravagant, I could go out and get a new board with more PCI lanes. But hey, it's a bit overkill. Plus, this is home lab, right? So I thought, what can I do to sort of jerry-rig some solution? Now, fortunately, my motherboard has two NVMe slots. And actually, NVMe is just PCI under the hood. So I thought to myself, how can I use my other M.2 slot to enable me to expand my PCI capability? Well, after a bit of scouting, I came up with this. Or I should say, I found this. And this is an M.2 to PCI 3 16 slot. So I'm hoping that I can simply plug this in to my spare M.2. I can then attach my capture card into here and I can then connect my camera into my game capture card and be able to save directly from my camera onto my PC, which is gonna save me a hell of a lot of time. Plus it's gonna give me professional grade video. Here goes. So probably the hardest part of actually installing this was dismantling my mini ITX build, which had tirelessly cable managed and zip tied, plus working with mini ITX is always fiddly anyway. So I took the motherboard off, I put that on the floor, and as you can see, that exposed my spare M.2 slot on the underside of the motherboard. To attach the expansion card, it was as simple as just inserting it into the M.2 slot, screwing it down and making sure that it protruded out the back of the motherboard at an angle that I was able to remount to the case and then attach the expansion card to. Okay, so as you can tell, a lot of blood, sweat and beers was spent over that. It's not easy building with a mini ITX, so I'm now ready to attach the Elgato to my PC. And I have this PCI slot dangling out the back, which I need to think of a way that I can tie this to my machine. I'll probably use some zip ties. So here goes. Well, I never promised it was gonna look good, but it is secured to my test bench case and it is working. So here you can see the Elgato tied to the back. You can see the HDMI going in from my camera. This will then send a signal through the NVMe slot into my machine and now I can direct capture through things like OBS etc to my hard drive which is an amazing improvement over the workflow I had with my camera. And on top of that you can see that it's been picked up in the device manager. So let's see the end result. Well hopefully the results speak for themselves. Now unfortunately you can't do anything about my appearance but that's a separate matter. But I'm really looking forward now to making some more videos and learning a ton more about the camera because I've only played with it for a few hours and I'm sure I can fine tune it far better than it is now. 
but it's already paying dividends in my workflow. I can push out higher quality videos more quickly. So I'm really looking forward to using this to expedite my video production, give you guys more insight into my home lab, more sort of demonstrations, tutorials, and all of that good stuff. So thanks for watching, and here's to the next one. Have a good weekend.